Good afternoon, everybody. It is such a pleasure to um, get to talk with you all. I apologize that I am not able to show you my video feed. My internet's a little slow, um, but I hope that we can have a fun session. I'm excited to see any questions you might have in the comments. I already love that there's a lot of activity there. So I'm gonna share with you um, what Serve, Learn, Sustain is and does. Um, I'm gonna watch the event chat for any questions, so I'll stop um, mid-presentation if you have anything you um, would like to share or would like to ask. So, um, Jamie, you can go ahead and advance. Thank you so much. Serve, Learn, Sustain is, has a really cool origin story, actually. Um, even though it sounds bureaucratic and um, a little bit boring, we're the product of the university's quality enhancement plan. And it's, it's actually two plans, right? One plan was submitted um, regarding sustainability and another regarding community engagement. Um, and those two folks who submitted those plans were asked to get together, put their heads together and submit one QEP proposal. And they did that. And the result was Serve, Learn, Sustain. So we are a community engagement and sustainability office. And we do work across all six colleges. So that makes us pretty special. We get to interact with y'all regardless of your major um, and regardless of your um, of the school you're affiliated with. And that's our real pleasure. It means that our programs are for everyone. Um, they aren't just for engineers and they aren't just for LMC and they aren't just for public policy folks, they're for everybody. Um, and our mission and what all of our programs support is the work of creating sustainable community. Um, thank you, Jamie, you can advance. We have six signature programs. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail about all of them. Um, that would consume all of our time and I wanna hear about um, what you all are interested in. But I, I do wanna say a little bit about the programs that um, may be on your radar immediately as incoming freshmen. Um, we have an Innovating for Social Impact program, which is really cool. If you'd like to do some intensive work around social innovation um, and around uh, the theme of sustainable communities, um, you can engage in Innovating for Social Impact. And that's an individual trajectory, right? You get to, if you start right away as freshmen, you just have a whole smorgasbord of opportunities to choose from. Um, that program is in a minor, um, so you don't have to fulfill it doing academic work. Um, you can, fulfill it doing all kinds of extracurricular and co-curricular work, interning with a community partner, um, using a research, existing research project that is about communities or about sustainability, um, and you can get um, some really neat intensive mentoring from Georgia Tech faculty or for, from community partners. Um, if you think you might wanna do something really individualized and really focused on social impact and sustainability, um, then now is a great time to sort of start thinking about what that would be um, and using your whole career at Tech to um, fit your program together into exactly what um, what your sort of vision is. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the RCE later on. Our events and workshops may be um, mostly online and some in person, depending on what happens and what unfolds this fall. Um, but certainly, if you're looking for an academic way to engage the theme of sustainable communities, please um, look up the Sustainable Cities Minor um, and look up all the great courses that are included in it, because I'd love for you to learn more and reach out to us with any questions about that minor. It's very special. It's a minor in the School of City and Regional Planning, um, and it's a wonderful opportunity to dive deep curricularly in sustainable communities. Um, Jamie, I think we're ready. And these are other ways to get engaged. Um, many of you may end up in an affiliated course, even if you didn't necessarily mean to, um, but we would love for you to go on our website and take a look at affiliated courses. If you search your major um, or your area of interest, let's pretend it's biology, if you put the search term biology into the search function of our website, you'll find a whole list of courses that are affiliated with Serve, Learn, Sustain. That means they might have community partner engagement, um, they might have specific events and opportunities that have to do with sustainable communities, um, but an affiliated course is a great way to dip your toe in for Serve, Learn, Sustain. Uh, slide, Jamie, thank you. So this may be familiar to some of you and not to others. Um, many of us associate sustainability with um, the environment and with environmental stewardship, but certainly, the economy and society are the other two, um, what we call legs or pedals of sustainability. Um, so 
can anyone give me an example of social sustainability? We know that one pedal is society, one pedal is economy, and one pedal is environment. Can anybody think of an example of social sustainability? What might that mean? If you can, then please put your idea in the event chat so I can see what you're thinking. In the meantime, I'll share what this particular program does. This is our linked courses program. Um, oh, forgive me. These are our sustainable communities issues, um, and they're reflected in our linked courses program. If these are any of these three um, any of these four issue areas are important to you, this is a great way um, to get further engaged. Certainly community health is on the tip of our tongues right now, um, but equitable and sustainable development in a city like Atlanta is really relevant to all of our experiences, um, as well as green infrastructure. Um, climate change and energy is self-explanatory. Green infrastructure is what we think of as the um, parks and other amenities um, that constitute our urban and rural landscapes. Um, as well as um, any kind of rain mitigation systems. So Alyssa put mitigating racial discrimination. Yes, absolutely. So racial discrimination is a perfect example of social sustainability. Um, that is ensuring that all people have equal access to opportunities um, and that they are not discriminated against in any way. That's a beautiful example of social sustainability. Vivian White offers green energy. That's a really interesting one. Um, some, I think, would say that green energy thus far in our society has not been as attentive to equity and people as it could be. But there are many examples, um, particularly from a grassroots perspective, in which um, Black-led organizations and people of color are um, coalescing around owning energy sources um, and cooperative ownership of new forms of energy or green energy. So I think that's a great one, Vivian, a great, a great one to keep our eye on. Um, thank you guys so much. Let's see. Maintaining inflation and low unemployment. Yeah, perfect. Um, right. So workers um, and um, and jobs are a really important part of social sustainability. Um, they intersect really in clear ways with economic sustainability as well as environment. Right. Um, we are always hearing about the ways in which, for example, phasing out coal power will have an impact on our workforce. Um, so your comment suggests that what we need to think about is how to re-engage people in a green economy or in a greener economy um, to maintain, as you're pointing out, um, low unemployment. That's great, you guys. Really wonderful ideas. I love this. So you can see in this slide, thank you so much, Jamie. Um, we emphasize working with community as collaborators rather than clients. So many of us come to college at the left-hand end of the spectrum in the light beige and outreach. Um, and that's wonderful. Um, I bet many of you have done service work. Maybe you've even been on service trips, um, depending on what your interests have been in high school. Um, but what we strive to do at Serve, Learn, Sustain is move from this um, outreach end of the spectrum toward community-driven change, um, meaning that when we do work with partners, we try to actually avoid the words um, helping or serving. We try to think instead about words like collaborating, co-learning, co-teaching, um, and uh, mutual reciprocity. So. That's an emphasis for us when we do partnership work and an emphasis for us, too, um, in courses where there are community partners, which I hope many of you will take. Thank you, Jamie. Yes, beautiful. Um, Sir Yana says better health facilities for each and every one. Yep, perfect. Um, so community health is really a great that's an emphasis area for us at Serve and Sustain. And that's a great lens through which to think about what social sustainability looks like. Um, what does it look like when everybody has um, access to good health care, um, when it doesn't tax their pocketbooks, um, and when they feel that the health system doesn't, in the example of a previous comment from Alyssa, the health system doesn't discriminate them based on class or color, discriminate against them. So that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Sriana. Um, Our partnership principles reflect some of uh, the ideas that I've already been discussing particularly um, in this conversation that we're having in the chat about social sustainability. Um, we think about equity and justice first, um, and we do some of that work through thinking about assets. Um, systems change may seem uh, like a very big and broad idea, uh, but a lot of times the work that we do in courses and with faculty members, the research that we do, um, the work in collaboration with partners is in fact systems change work, right? It's 
um, rethinking the way that we relate to each other, the way that we use resources, and the way that we prepare the ground for generations that come after us. Um, you'll see in five and six and seven. Oh, so sorry. Sir Janish. Yes, not Sir Yana. I'm so sorry. Thank you for correcting me. Um, so we are we're thinking it in our partnership work about our local um, neighbors, right? Who is just around tech and how can we have collaborative relationships with the neighborhoods right off campus? Um, as well as what is the role of technology in a social context? So not just what is the neatest device that we can build, but what creative solutions can we come together to work on um, in collaboration with our community partners? And how do those solutions impact um, the people in the neighborhoods where we work? So um, we think about technology, again, not just as um, a set of solutions um, or an answer provided by an expert, but we think about it in terms of an approach to technology broadly, right? Um, what are the visions of community members we work with that benefit society and nature? Um, and how does technology fit into those vision? Rather, how do we follow a technological innovation instead of how do we lead innovations um, with an eye toward community impact and community leadership? Thank you, Jamie. Um, this is another look at the pedals, society, economy, and the environment. Um, taking a look at this, what do you guys see on here um, that you feel is most interesting to you? What, what, which of these squares, um, protect natural resources, manage waste, bolster human capital, which of these is, um, is resonant for you? Do you see anything in this, in these squares, these gray and white squares that really speaks to you for your interests academically? And you can also see that at the center of the diagram, um, society, economy, and the environment. Um, great, Alyssa, thank you. Um, come together in this white triangle, um, or sort of multicolored, <laughs> vaguely translucent triangle. And we try to see if we can work at that intersection instead of just in one petal. So Alyssa says um, economic equity and support. So that's something that we, we try to um, nurture in our affiliated courses. Um, and we try to do a lot of that work um, in the equitable and sustainable development theme. So you could take linked courses under that theme if you ever take summer courses at Tech. Um, and you can also choose to do independent research through the Innovating for Social Impact program or look at those issues more deeply in the Sustainable Cities Minor. Thank you, Jamie. Who has heard of the SDGs? If you've heard of the SDGs, um, click hi in the comments. All you have to say is hi. I want to know how our, how informed our 43 folks are. And if you're a parent too. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> if you've heard of the SDGs, write hi in the comments, in the, in the event chat. Um, we work on the SDGs. Great. Hi, Maya. Great. Yay. I'm so glad you guys have heard of the SDGs. Beautiful. Um, thank you so much. So who has a favorite SDG? If you have a favorite SDG, I would love to see it in the comments um, because I bet that Serve, Learn, Sustain um, has a program or collaborates on a program um, that pertains to that SDG. Anybody want to type their favorite numbered SDG into the comments? And if you're a parent, you're welcome to do that, too. We focus um, through our Greater Atlanta um, Regional Center of Expertise, the RCE. We focus on a selection of SDGs. Great. OK. So Jackson says four. Sonali says 16. Jessica says seven and 11. So I'm going to hone in here. An inch. Anch, I'm so sorry. I'm going to mangle everyone's names. Then you guys can't really correct me because I can't hear you. <laughs> um, but thank you. I'm seeing a lot. Of, I'm seeing sevens. I'm seeing thirteens. Fantastic. Um, so we do a lot of work on 13 at SLS. It's one of our action areas, one of our priority issues. Um, and I saw a couple of sevens. Great, affordable and clean energy. 
Um, I encourage you guys to think about the Sustainable Cities Minor. Though that, that is a great way to get um, more deeply immersed in coursework around 7 and 13. Um, I saw somebody had three and somebody had four, I think, up above. Um, those are um, focus areas for our Greater Atlanta Regional Center of Expertise. Um, great, and I see number two here, zero hunger. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> so what we hope is that through the Greater Atlanta Center for uh, uh, Greater Atlanta Regional Center of Expertise, we can pursue work in some of our priority SDGs, um, one, two, three, four, 11, and 17, excuse me, 13 and 17, those came up several times. Um, but we also, I think, want to make sure that we reflect your interests as students so that we are always seeking new partnerships with community organizations. Um, if we know that folks care a lot about, say, number 10, reduced inequalities, Diwali put 2, 10, and 16, um, then we're going to try to cultivate partnerships um, around reduced inequalities. We're going to try to find courses that focus in on that, and we're going to try to design programs um, that can engage some important conversations and action around that. Alyssa says, I like nine too. <laughs> yes, great, industry innovation and infrastructure. Um, thank you so much, Jamie. If you have further questions about getting involved um, in the RCE, the Regional Center of Expertise, I'm happy to answer them. Um, that is a way that you can get involved, not just with these issues at tech, um, but you can do work with um, students from across universities because the RCE, the Regional Center of Expertise, engages 10 institutions of higher education in the Atlanta area. Um, so the RCE is a great way to meet students from other universities who care about sustainability and care about the SDGs and to do work in collaboration with them that you might not be able to do on your own at Tech. Um, and certainly we can answer questions or I can happily, happily um, answer emails about getting involved in the Greater Atlanta RCE. Um, all RCEs are United Nations affiliated. So it's a global network, um, not just a Georgia or a US network. Um, our students are the best part. I hope you guys will become a student on one of these slides. Um, this is Atticus, uh, who's um, been working at SLS for more than two years now, um, has um, myriad interests in the kinds of work that we do, um, and has already engaged himself in our summer internship program. If you think you want an internship next summer and you want to do work on sustainability or community engagement, um, please uh, take a look at our internship program on our website. Um, another wonderful student who was involved with us from the beginning is Michelle. And always, guys, keep in mind that if you don't get involved in SLS immediately because you have a lot on your plate as you're, as you're an incoming freshman, that's okay. Um, you can check back in with us next semester. You can check back in with us um, later on in your careers um, at Tech. But we would love to, uh, we would love to meet you as soon as we can um, and support your coursework. Um, you can tell that there's, in Michelle's example, there's a lot of ways to get involved. Yes, Alyssa, you can. Um, we partner with a great, um, a great program uh, in Eastern Europe, um, and you can learn more about that um, if you type in um, Institute for Leadership and Entrepreneurship. I'm going to put it in here right here. The program leader is Dory Papp. Um, And if you engage in that program, you can intern while you are abroad. Whoops, sorry guys, Yeesh. It's a wonderful program. I believe the um, internships are mostly in Budapest, um, but that's a way to do community-based internships and to do them while you're away. Um, or if you study abroad and you're worried about having time to do an internship when you get home, um, typically our internships, we don't do um, really any um, intensive internship program in the fall or spring. Um, so doing a summer internship if you study abroad during the school year is an option. Uh, and you can see another one of our fabulous students is Mira. She's engaged in the internship program this summer too. Um, she studied abroad um, last year and, uh, and she's doing a lot of neat work around um, sustainable systems and she is a sustainable cities minor. Um, so all of these students um, that are on these slides would be happy to answer your questions. Um, Adair also studied abroad, um, and she was in, involved in the sustainability cities, sustainable cities minor. That's a great picture of her facing off with that 
really amazing bull um, ox. I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me in the comments what you think this um, this majestic uh, example of wildlife is. Um, but uh, but Adair, Atticus, Mira, um, they would all love to answer your questions if you do have questions about um, about studying abroad or about um, engagement with our programs generally. Um, same with Kat. Uh, so some of our um, student workers come into our programs and we have student workers every fall. Um, nice, water buffalo, longhorn, I love it. You guys are on. Um, some students come into work for SLS with a set of um, particular skills um, related to design. Um, and some students come to SLS to, to, to do student, to work as a student assistant because they're simply interested in the themes that we look at. Um, so guys, let me know if you have questions. I, I uh, moved through those programs pretty quickly, but I would love to, um, I would love to answer any questions that you might have about the opportunities that I mentioned. Um, we would love for you to go ahead and register for the email list. Um, you can do that easily on the website, uh, and you should be able to um, you should be able to get in touch with us via Serve Learn Sustain that email address or this is my email address. If you want to email me questions, if you have you know um, a longer question or you just want to tell me what your interests are, um, then I'd love to hear from you about um, your projected coursework and and the the kinds of programs that you think would serve you well um, during your time at Tech. I think we have, Jamie, do we have 25 minutes or am I over time? Did we only have 20 minutes? Maybe that means that we only had 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's over at 1.30. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so if there aren't further questions, um, then I hope I get to hear from you by email. I hope you'll peruse our website um, and, and take a look at the programs that stoked your interest um, as you watched the presentation today. Um, and I really hope that you'll get involved with Serve, Learn, Sustain as soon as you can. Um, we can't wait to meet you, and, and we would love to, um, to help you uh, use all the resources at hand at Tech um, to engage with sustainable communities as a theme and to have a wonderful career. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and thanks for listening to this presentation. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>